So um, we're here to talk today about Valkyria Chronicles Remastered, which is the remaster of the original Valkyria Chronicles for the PS3. Uh, and it's my first foray into the game, actually, which is really cool. Um, so basically, it centers around this country called Galia as they get invaded by uh, an empire trying to take their natural resources. It's basically a similar version of, I guess, World War II, if you want to say, except if it's just enclosed in Europe. But the whole concept of this game is that you're a commander and you're basically commanding an army of force in a tactical turn-based style. So there's a lot of small things like cover, uh, different type of classes that you can use from ranging from scouts to shock troopers, which are your assault troopers basically, snipers, your engineers, and even some tank forces. There's a lot of small strategies around this that you have to work around, but in the end, a lot of the missions that you do have trouble with, there's always a small, I guess, cheese way. And the game is very, very well designed around that way. It's, there's always a small way that you can do something if you're sort of under-leveled. find this little thing to yeah. exploit. Yeah, there's always, and if you're under-leveled, there's great ways you can level up. They've got minor skirmish matches. You can just play at any time to make sure your characters are all right. Um, some things, like there are lots of little things about this game that I really like. Um, the artistic style is really great. Mm. Things like, as a large, ra uh, large range of characters you can use, but the characters don't level up their class does, so you can just sort of swap them out uh, at any time, which is like, it's just it's just a really well put together game. The other thing that I really, really enjoy about this game is the story and the music. They're both very, mm. very well done. The story very well much comp uh, complements the art style itself, which is very well represented on the PS4. Maybe not as well on the, P or the PC itself. The PC is probably the best version just because it's just a little bit more edgier on the PC or PS4, cause just because no anti-aliasing basically. Yeah, uh, it's still a really solid title, whether you have or haven't played the game. As someone who hasn't played the game, I'm really enjoying playing this on the PS4. Uh, so yeah, it's just a really well put together game, lots of fun.